Hi friends, it's me Em and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the SenseU Smart Baby Monitor 3 and video camera. Ooh. This baby monitor is one of the only baby monitors on the market that is able to measure in real time the baby's breathing movements, their temperature, and if they've rolled over. And I'm really excited to have this because Naomi has been showing signs that she might roll over from back to tell me any day now. And so I've been a little nervous, so I'm really excited to have this. Give me some peace of mind and I can't wait to review it for all of you and tell you what I think. But anyway, let's get to the review. All right, here it is, the SenseU Smart Baby Monitor 3 in video camera box. Here you can see that there's an app for this device. There is the device you put on the child in the base station. There's the camera. You can see the movement of the child, the field temp of the child, what position the child's in. This is good for a baby 0 to 18 months, and video is good for 0 to 5 years. All right, looking at the back of the box now, it says the most complete baby monitor system. You can see movement notifications, high low temp notifications, rollover notifications, motion detection from anywhere. It's good quality video and has night vision and it's two way talk so you can talk to your child and you can also hear the child as well. There they are in the crib right there. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. All right, when you open the box, you'll go ahead and see the camera in this nice little wrapping. And then you'll also see the little SenseU monitor device. This also has the user manual and it comes with the base station. Those two devices, that little circle and this work together. And this is what tracks the baby's movement, the temperature and all that good stuff. The user manual is also included for the baby monitor and then you get a box of all these little goodies to help you use the device. So like the mounting thing for the camera, extra stuff for the baby monitor, cords so you can actually get power to these devices. And yeah, this is everything that came in that box. So the camera, extra stuff, the baby monitor, base station, and yeah. So first I wanted to go ahead and check out what it said in the user manual. It's basically saying that this device is intended to provide you notifications such as like no body movement for 20 seconds, the baby's on its stomach, temperature readings are off, all that stuff that you set within the app and more. Um, I then went ahead and opened the base station because I wanted to go ahead and get it started up. All these lights started flashing and then I went and took the little clip out so the battery could be connected so I can fully finish setting up the baby monitor. I then went and downloaded the app and then began registering and asked me things like my email, my name, my birthday, my gender. And then after I was all done with that, it asked me some stuff about my child, like her name, her birth date, her height and weight and her gender. And then I went ahead and started adding the device. So I clicked Naomi and I started adding her base station to the app. You can see all these lights flashing and then eventually it was added to my profile and then I went ahead and paired the baby monitor. This is the little device that you put on your child so this will give you the movement um, and then it told me a little bit about what it tracks with movement. It'll tell you the temperature then it told me a little bit what it tracks with temperature. It told me how to put it on and that there was all these different scenes you could set within the app. I then went ahead and added my video camera to my profile. It was really easy. You just scan a QR code and once it's downloaded, it's all good to go. There you can see it. I then consulted the user manual to know what the base station lights means. Like green lights is normal, red is slow, blue is stomach sleeping, purple was high temperature, yellow was temperature drop, and blue was low temperature. Then I went ahead and added Naomi to the crib. I just wanted to go ahead and take the next minute to add a short little disclaimer that please make sure you mount your baby camera in a place that is safe and far away from your child so they do not get to it. For demonstration purposes, I just put the camera in the crib, but normally for me, this is going to be something that's going to be on a tripod. Normally, Naomi sleeps in her snoo in the same room as me, and so I I don't want to mount this on the wall knowing that she will soon be transitioning to her crib. But then also, I'm a big traveler. If you follow my social media, I travel every single month. And so having a baby camera and monitor I can travel with is super important to me. So I'm very excited to have this. But that's why mine is not mounted in this video. However, if you're ready to mount your camera, this is a great camera. It has high quality video. It has amazing night vision. And this would be perfect for you. It also has a two-way mic, so you're able to hear your child. 
and then you're also able to talk to your child as well, like my husband is in this video. I next wanted to go ahead and try out the baby monitor portion. This is the thing that you hook onto their diaper. And I wanted to check out the temperature reading portion. So I went ahead and got my personal thermometer to take Naomi's temperature. And the first reading I got for her was 98.1. I wanted to have a little bit of some data. So I went ahead and took her temperature again. And it was 98.8, a little bit of variation, which I feel like is typical when you take someone's temperature. But then in the app, it said it was 88.7. So a little different there. I went in the app to read and then also it said the normal range was 82 to 95, which is a little bit different than what my doctor has talked about with me. So take that with what you will. Then according to the base station, it said that the indoor temperature was 76.6 and my home nest said it was 75. So I felt like that was relatively close. I next wanted to go ahead and try out the features that I was most excited for, which was the movement breathing tracking and the roll over feature. So you can see when I rolled her over, it showed in the app that she was on her stomach, but then the machine started making this really loud noise. So it was really cool to know that it would alert me if she was on her stomach and she just thought it was just the funniest thing. <laughs> Lastly, what I'm gonna be showing you in the app is that it is able to track their breathing. You can see movement right there, 32. This is tracked by the rise and fall of their abdomen to see if they are still breathing. So this gives you amazing peace of mind. I was actually very excited and I went ahead and packed this up and put it in my travel crib because I'm leaving to Tahoe in two days. And so I was ecstatic to be able to bring that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Sense You Smart Baby Monitor 3 and video camera. I went ahead and linked everything in the description below so you can get one for yourself if this makes sense for you. I'm also going to include it in my Amazon storefront. But if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, have a nice day. Bye.